Hi guys, welcome back to another FST video. I am on the 12.3.5 version and we are testing the FST for the first time at the night. Uh, so usually I try to you know make all these videos during the perfect lighting conditions during the daytime but I want to test it at nighttime and we'll see how good this thing can perform at nighttime. For my settings, I'm on the assertive mode and if I go to the autopilot Automatic set speed offset is on. A lot of you watch these videos. I get a lot of views, but I don't see people subscribing. If you are uh, interested in FST related content or anything around technology or camera related stuff, you know, I make regular videos, so please consider subscribing and check some other content out on this channel so this is a busy intersection I would say okay that's our signal and start moving perfect smooth turn So ever since I updated to the 12 series, especially the 3.4 and this 3.5, I noticed the turns are very smooth and subtle. Uh, the car is also staying in the middle lane, uh, middle of the lane uh, when you're driving. It's not like really, really close to the curb when you are turning. A lot of people have complained about this and I've uh, seen some pictures on Facebook and other groups that I follow that you know people scrape their wheels so I'm keeping an eye on that and then also a best practice is when you are like using FSD try to you know uh, keep your attention on the road and like what's going on around you as well and be ready to take over at any point so I'm always keeping an eye if you look at like uh, these this view I have my cameras on all the time and I'm also looking at like how far the car is from the curb. If I see that it's really close to the curb, I take over immediately so that, you know, uh, it don't hurt the car or like, you know, don't damage anything. So far, I only had one close call and I think I was on the version 12.2 uh, or 12.3, I don't remember, but like, you know, it was close to the curb, still did not hit the curb. So, so that's the observation so far but like in 3.4 uh, and 3.5 I'm seeing that it's performing a little bit better maybe they have updated uh, this in the code or like you know again this based on the latest update it's working on the neural network so maybe it's learning on the go and trying to stay in the middle or like a middle of the lane when turning so it's not very close to the curb so you can see this environment and uh, all of this is displayed here this is what the car is seeing okay this is a bike lane so I didn't do anything it basically came in the center not driving on the bike lane so really good so, I don't know if you guys can see this uh, you know this is the blue lane where like you see the 
autopilot but this on the right side it's also looking at the signs that are on the road and then the bike lane so this is impressive put a new direction in so Mountain let's see what it's gonna do so oh wow so it basically came in the left lane right in real time there's no lag here so perfect so we just did so without any problems that is really impressive flashing yellow lights let's see if the car is gonna behave or do anything nothing it's showing up here but it didn't stop or slow down so I have another red light coming up very gradually slowing down perfect this is amazing Wow. My opinion I would think this thing uh, flawless if it starts de detecting the potholes and like those kind of things right so far it's doing amazing uh, on every aspect but still not detecting any potholes or stuff on the road. okay so this is probably gonna be a tricky turn coming up let's see I don't think we have to go all the way to the light. Okay. Yeah, so it is turning from the right path, on the right path. So let's see. Perfect. It is really impressive that FST knows which roads to take and I didn't bring my car on this route before but it's doing everything flawlessly wow I am really impressed so up ahead we're gonna have another stop sign and then we have a left uh, turn coming up Stopping at the stop sign.
Okay, slowly moving forward. Woo. No issues at all. Bumpy road, but we're fine. Yeah, so as you can see, this road has a lot of bumps. The car keeps on going straight. I don't care for the bumps. If I go in the left lane, I just manually put the signal for the left lane. But it just turned it off. I want to stay here on this side. Okay. so far no issues gradually slowing down So guys, what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna subscribe to Tesla's full self-driving? I have a subscription package right now and I'm thinking about upgrading because uh, I already had the EAP in this car when I bought it. I'm just gonna wait it out a little bit and see if they drop the price furthermore. Uh, in my opinion, people who had bought the car with EAP um, or enhanced autopilot, they should have given this for free. mentioned that in my previous videos as well right once you get used to it start using it on daily basis you know you would be missing if this is not there right uh, it's really handy especially when you are driving on local roads so this is a very uh, busy road right now and we're gonna be taking uh, making a left turn here so traffic is coming from everywhere let's see Oh, it's gonna perform perfect and I'm just keeping an eye on the curb too we are far distance from the curb perfect this is really good guys 